But so what does it take on the part of leaders? I think it takes leaders who champion. This is Steve Sharple. And Steve was the general manager of the, uh, of the Marriott in New Orleans. I worked a lot with Marriott over the years, and I worked with Steve. The first, one of the early times I was there working with Steve, I got there late, and I got out of the taxi. The young man, the bellman, stepped off the curb, and he walked right up to me, and he said, I'm Mel Washington, and I'll be your bellman from right here all the way to your room. Now, one thing that impressed me is I've never had a bellman introduce himself. Second, I, 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 he cleared up something I'm frequently confused about. I never know what to tip the person who gets you stuff from the, you know, from the taxi to the front desk. I got front desk to the room. He said, I'll be your bellman all the way to your room. He said, you go ahead and check in. I'm going to step over to the concierge stand, pick up a few items I think you might enjoy reading about New Orleans. We're going up to the room. He said, now, how long has it been since you've been here before? I said, well, it's been a little while. He said, well, let me tell you some things might have changed since you were here. Of course, he gets to the room. You know, he makes sure all my luggage is taken care of. He gets ice in the ice bucket. And then he says, come here, come here, come here. He walks, up, walks over and opens the drapes. He said, you see that building over there? He said, that's the St. James Cathedral. He said, did you see the one over there? He said, that's the edge of Jackson Square. He said, in the morning, when you get up and you look out across the French Quarter, you'll know what you're looking at. And the next, last thing he did, he said, here's my business card. It's got my home phone on the back. You call me 24 hours a day, we'll make sure you get your needs met. I said, Mill, you're very impressive, as I handed him that big tip. Well, the next morning I met with Steve Sharple, and I told him how impressed I was with Mel, and I said the thing that really impressed me the most is he gave me his business card and told me to call him 24 hours a day. Steve got a funny look on his face. He said, our bellman don't have business cards. I said, oops. Well, Mel figured out a way to get one. A week later, I got a call from Steve. He said, I got to tell you about Mel. Mel is now in charge of the bell stand, and by the way, they all have business cards. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of champion we have, and that's what Lisa Privet didn't get. And that's what the guy in the story about the milkshake moment didn't get. We've got to be willing to be our, our champion of our employees.